when I think about Miss Johnson and Rosemary Jensen and Jean Nystrand and Susie Rowan, uh, those are women that I have known either through their teaching or, or directly through their influence. They have shaped me in so many ways and it, it's humbling that I might be a part of that in some way. You know, Kevin and I found BSF to be pivotal, pivotal in our young married life. So we've been married more than 30 years, but 30 years of that time, we have been in BSF together. And when our children were born, it was important for them to be in the preschool program and then to go through the school program. And now we have grandchildren who are in a preschool program going to BSF, singing some of the same songs our children sang growing up in BSF. And I came to know the Lord through the discipleship, through intentional discipleship of my brother. When he came to know the Lord, he, he decided his little sister needed to learn who Jesus was. And so at about the age of 12, I realized that that relationship with Jesus was for me, not between me and my brother or between me and my parents who also loved Jesus. Um, and I gave my life to Christ. And the verse that really has been an anchor for me since that moment is in Galatians. And it's, I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And so the life I'm living now is a life I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. And that has anchored me through the years ever since then. I would say that I walked into my first BSF class pretty knowledgeable about the facts of scriptures. And as I begin to study week after week in this fourfold approach that I'd never seen anything like that before, where, where I could go home and answer those questions to begin with, as I begin to study, the first thing God did was straighten out a little doctrine. <laughs> um, he began to help me see that there were places and things that I believed that I'd grown up with that maybe weren't exactly how it was laid out in scripture. But the other thing that happened was those facts that I had learned turned into truths. So when you approach scripture, you can look at scripture and you can just see fact, 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 fact. But really those facts are driving to a greater purpose and that's the truth. So I begin to take in truths of scripture. And through that journey of taking in truths of scripture, some outside things begin to happen in my world. Um, I would say we went through a season of pain and a season of trials and a season of suffering. And in that season, those facts, which had become truth, I now begin to feel. So I could read and think about what it must it feel like to have been pregnant at a time when all the Israelite boys were gonna be killed when they were born. And I felt that as opposed to just reading it, knowing, oh, here's what happens with Moses, and this is just his story to get there. Just through this week in, week out, staying in scripture, hanging in there, I begin to see that transformation from facts to truth to actually feeling it and feeling connected to it in that way. It's, it's changed me forever, and I'm so grateful for that. I would love it if people would pray for me and for this ministry that God would show us favor, grant us favor, and establish the work of our hands. And I think this ministry has an incredible opportunity right now because we are poised at a time in history where God has created a hunger and thirst for something. And do you know anyone who's not hungering and thirsting for something? I feel like so much of what we hear in our culture is a, is a running towards something, but we don't even know what we're running towards. We just are looking for that thing we can grasp and hold on to. And so would you pray that God would continue to create a hunger and thirst, and as people are running towards something, what they find is a friend or a neighbor or a teacher or a coworker who says, I have something, I know someone who may meet, who will meet and satisfy that hunger and thirsting. And that BSF might become more accessible to people in this season where people are hunger and thirsting.